In this video, I go over the best MC business in GTA Online. This is the ultimate cork lockup guide for 2022. To get started with this business, you need to own an MC clubhouse. This will allow you to become an MC president and begin starting your businesses. The cheapest clubhouse is Great Chapel for $200,000 or is totally free with the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. The location of your clubhouse doesn't matter as you will only ever use it to buy businesses. Now, head on over to your clubhouse and access the computer. Here, you want to buy your coke business the best option to go with is alamo c this is because we want to maximize profits so going for the cheapest one for just 975,000 is your best bet not only that but this location has the best routes when it comes to selling missions so how does this business work well like many others it is passive this means you only need to get the supplies for your business and the staff will do the rest for you there is free bars in the coke lockup the supplies the more supplies you decide to bring into the business either stealing or buying which we will go over soon, the workers will use those supplies for the stock bar. The more supplies, the more stock goes up. And for the value, that shows the current worth for the stock that you can sell. Now, speaking of the supplies, there is two ways of obtaining them. The first is through stealing them. It will take a total of three steel missions to fill up a full supply bar because each mission gives you two bars of supplies. On the upside, you don't have to pay any money, unlike buying them, but these missions can be slow, boring, and eat up a lot of your time that could be used for other things. That is why I always recommend buying supplies. A full batch of supplies will cost you 75000 so it isn't cheap. However, unlike stealing the supplies, these will be instantly fill up your supply bar. A full bar takes two and a half hours to run out and fills up one and a half of your stock bar, giving you 160000 for one full batch of supplies. It will take three whole supplies to fill up the stock bar fully, meaning you will need to spend 250000 on supplies, which gives you $420,000, making you a total profit of 170,000 when buying supplies. Now there is also one thing to mention here. For the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X users, the MC businesses payouts were increased by 25%. This means instead of 420,000 for full stock, you will instead get 525,000, which makes you 105,000 more than everyone else. One stock bar regularly is 56,000, but now for next gen users, one bar is 70,000. This makes this business a lot better than others. In order to increase your profit, you need to buy upgrades for your business. The two best upgrades which help make more money are the staff and equipment upgrades. I would recommend going for the staff upgrade because it is the cheapest and then the equipment upgrade later down the line. Buying both upgrades will cost you a total of 1.325 million and if we add on the cost of the business for 975,000 that gives you a total spend of 2.3 million. This means it will take you 41 hours to break even on the price. However, it will only take 27 hours if you sell to the furthest buyer for more money of course. So how do these upgrades make you more money? Let me explain. With no upgrades to the business, if you sell to the highest buyer with the most money, you will make $300,000. However, with one upgrade, either the staff or equipment upgrade, that will increase to $360,000 and with two upgrades, which is the maximum amount for the most profit, will increase to $420,000. Now with no upgrades to the business, the cork lockup will take eight and a half hours to fill up max stock. However, with one upgrade, this decreases to 6.6 .6 hours to fill up and finally with both upgrades this is decreased to only 5 hours to fill up which means the upgrades are totally worth buying if you want to see a return on investment. Now when it comes to actually selling your stock it is recommended you always sell a full stock business with other people to help you. This is because a full stock bar will give you more than 3 vehicles to sell which as a solo player for the most part are extremely difficult to sell successfully. The sell vehicles can consist of vehicles such as boats, bikes, pull stop van, helicopter, planes, a single truck, garbage trucks or the duffel bags. The duffel bags were removed however from the game for no reason but they used to be the best sell mission to receive taking minimal effort to complete. For the most part being a solo player myself most of these missions can easily be done solo in the time limit given. For example the bike drop mission is very easy to do solo with more than three vehicles as it's a simple drive to location and fly back on an oppressor. Another mission like the garbage truck I have completed easily and many others. However one mission you should never do solo is the post stop van. If you receive a certain mission you don't want, all you have to do is find a new session. This will however lose a bit of stock but it is not that major. 
try and sell again and then hopefully get a better sell mission. So for solo players, you should always try and sell at half full of stock. This is because you will only ever get two or less vehicles, which is a lot easier to sell solo. But keep in mind, half stock will only get you 160,000. So you can risk selling more stock with more vehicles for higher profit. Also, selling in highly populated lobbies is a risk worth taking because the more players in the lobby, the more money you receive for your stock. Let me explain. Every player in a lobby is worth 1% more, so if there is 20 players, you will receive 20% more when you finish selling. Keep in mind, however, more players means more chance of getting griefed. On a final note, every once in a while your business can get raided. This is worth knowing because you can end up losing all of your business stock if you don't successfully complete the mission. If you don't have the security upgrade in your coke lockup, a raid can happen every 3 hours. However, with the security upgrade, this is increased to only every 6 hours. These missions can only happen if you are registered as an MC president and of course online for that amount of time. If you don't want to do these missions, you can simply close the game and don't find a new session. If you find a new session, you can lose all your stock so just exit the game. What you can do to avoid the raids is make sure you aren't registered as an MC president and they won't end up happening. Now this is why I don't recommend buying a security upgrade. It is a waste of money because it simply avoids the raid happening by an extra 3 hours, not avoiding it entirely. So don't waste your money. And on that note, that is everything you need to know about the coke business in GTA Online. If this helped, let me know down below and if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And don't forget to subscribe and drop a like for more videos like this one and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you all later